welcome back to the channel. Um, today is the day. We're going to put the uh, fishtail exhaust pipes on the bike. Um, I had some other things going on and it kind of cleared out and don't have to do that anymore so we get to do this today. So as you can see I got the bike up on the Harbor Freight lift. Um, this is new. I just bought this last weekend and got it uh, finished set up. Um, it does not come with this nice Pittsburgh uh, wheel chalk. This wheel chalk is a lot better than the one that comes with it. Um, and being the Inside Track Club member for Harbor Freight, you get this at a discount. You get $110 off the lift and you get like $15 off that wheel chalk. So all together between the two of them, I got about five fifty, between five fifty and five seventy five dollars wrapped up in. So not too bad. Uh, not the deal you could have got a few years ago. Back a few years ago, these were selling for like $300. Uh, but they went up in price since then. Um, aside from doing the pipes, I don't know if we'll get to it today, but I've also got this box here. And this is a um, brake turn running light module that will convert my rear turn signals into running lights brake lights as well as turn signals um, so that'll give me more of a visibility for you know cars behind me and it also just look nice um, and be, this being an older bike it's not a plug-and-play situation this has to be hardwired into the uh, tail light wiring so I'm not sure if we're gonna get into this day or not um, but we'll see I'm not going to film the whole um, thing just wanted to give you guys a quick intro um, and um, I may you know flip the camera back on uh, during the process if I run across something I think might be helpful and interesting changing mean, these pipes out is it's pretty cut and dry they're slip-ons so all I'm doing is unbolting the uh, tail pipes off of this pulling them out and then I'll be sliding the other ones in and you know lining them up and bolting them down not, not much to it, it's pretty straightforward. I will, while I got this, uh, all this, these pipes and stuff on, I will give you guys a uh, closer look at the pipes and uh, show you what we're taking off though. Okay, I'm not sure what happened while I was taking the camera off the tripod. Um, it stopped recording. So here we are again, show you guys a close up of the stock or the, not the stock pipes but the pipes I'm currently on and I'm taking off um, and I do believe these are the stock headers uh, header pipes that come on the bike um, but I'm not 100% positive on that it's got the split pipe up here this comes down it goes around the other side of the bike and then see you got the Vance and Heinz logo not bad pipes, uh, especially for what I got in them. Um, I got a pretty good deal on them. Um, like I said, I think I gave 70 bucks for them at my local uh, used bike parts place. Uh, pretty decent place if you're in Indy called Jason's Man Cave. It's over in uh, um, kind of Stringtown, Hallville area maybe, um, off Michigan Road and Holmes Avenue, uh, just east of Holmes Avenue. Um, so here's where that, that cross pipe comes back, comes down, comes around this side, out the back. So that's it for now. Um, I'm going to get to taking these off. And uh, like I said, if I find, if I come across something that I think is noteworthy or interesting that you might want to know or might, you know, be important, I'll turn the camera back on. Otherwise, next time I turn the camera on, um, the other pipes will be installed and we'll do a, sound bite of them and see what it sounds like thanks for watching all right <clears throat> welcome back so the pipes are on the bike it's all complete and uh, I think it looks pretty good I'm gonna take the camera off the tripod here And give you a little walk around the new pipes. So 
they got the fishtail shape that's why they call them fishtails for those that are not bike savvy and don't know I'm sure a lot of guys that are clicking on this video probably already know that I know I got some audience that doesn't alright now what I'll do is I'll put you back on the tripod and uh, we'll start the bike up and let you have a sound at it no problems um, the only problem I had and it really wasn't a problem was the pipe clamp the exhaust clamp on the uh, when I was taking the old muffler off um, just getting the clamp off the old muffler because the where they're split at the end of the pipe it was kind of bent up a little bit and uh, kind of had to bang it off with the knock it off with the rubber mallet but other than that no issues everything went on lined up just fine uh, the, the hardware that it comes with probably not exactly the best but it works for now. If it uh, becomes a problem, I'll uh, change it out for some better hardware later. But right now, uh, I'm happy with the sound. I'm happy with the look. Um, if you like the video, hit, give me a thumbs up. And uh, maybe a subscribe. Um, I can use more subscribers for sure. Um, I'll try to put out more content uh, as I go along. Uh, definitely uh, when I get the uh, triple plate module hooked up for the tail lights, um, I'll definitely do some footage on that and uh, that'll probably be the next video I do. Uh, so again, thanks for watching. Appreciate you. God bless. Have a good day.